Guys, welcome to my first and only vlogmas. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I honestly want to share with you how did we celebrate Christmas as an international couple in London. So a heads up that this video is not going to be as organized as the other ones. I just wanted to share this priceless moments with you. Hello, hello, beautiful people. How are you? Today is the 24th in the morning and I'm getting some final things for our dinner that we didn't find before. As you may know, I'm from Bulgaria and Ben is Italian, but we live in the UK. So what we decided so what we decided actually to do is that we have one dinner which is Italian, one dinner which is Bulgarian and one dinner which is like typical British Christmas foods and today we are starting with the Italian one and the Italian tradition is that we should eat fish and seafood for dinner so this is what we're doing Hi, have you subscribed to our channel? No! Oh, I should definitely do that! Yeah, sure! Come subscribe! Hit the button below! Here or here! It should appear! Happy Christmas! This is actually my neighborhood and it's kind of cold but it's such a beautiful day today. And over there, this is our little market. And I just got an email from the place where uh, I ordered the Christmas present for Ben and it's going to be late. And I got him an electric toothbrush just so I can have another present for him for tomorrow. I'm usually leaving the things for last minute. There were literally no Christmas stars and I got this one which is kind of sad guys don't you think. And here is Ben pretending to work. I'm actually working look at that I got two computers you know. And it's 5 p.m. we finished our life like one hour ago I would say and it was so much fun talking to you guys and, for, and thank you for the ones of you that joined and now we are actually starting to prepare our Christmas dinner and Ben is a bit struggling with cleaning it's not struggling it's just like the, the fishmonger you know said he would clean the lake to remove the sack I got it yeah. it might look a little bit sad but we have four shrimps in here which will be for our shrimp cocktail and this is also kind of the first time that we're making shrimp cocktail so we are also checking how to make mayo and here we have also our ingredients for the mayo we're working on it in the same, at the same time I'm cleaning the mussel make sure they're closed as you can see here make, make sure they're like you know they're clean yeah, so like Ben is and the year is gone. We still don't have many things on our table. We have this was the last thing from my advent calendar, the panettone, the star, London, and let me show you the first mail that I made. I think it's pretty decent for the first time. And Ben is enjoying the milled wine. Yeah, it's 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 good tasting. Nice. If you guys wanna you know like try it, make sure you check out our recipe, our secret recipe. You can actually find it on our live. I'm kind of prepping ahead this shrimp cocktail and let me show you how it's going. So, since I don't have ketchup, I made this salad that I will mix with the mayo. These are our set for shrimps and after that we will put them here. Poor lobster is dying in here. We're cutting the like, tail in half. Hi, so please subscribe to the channel. See if I got this right. Oh, 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 yeah. Rest of the, the rest lobster. Of the lobster. Yeah. And I'm making another sauce in here. Hi. Yeah, 30 minutes to make the sauce. The other four shrimps together with some zucchini and some extra zucchini because I always eat my veggies. And here we are starting with the preparation of our pasta. This is everything that will go inside together with some tomato sauce. Yeah, if you live in the UK, you would know that this one costs like 20p, but to be honest, it tastes good. Our first Christmas alone! Yeah. I would say some things are going 
quite well, others not, not so really. much, yeah. not so much, but ouch, it's okay. Wow! Here is our milled wine, sauces, star of the show for me, for now, of wow. course, because this is not everything, ah. is the shrimp cocktail. Really yummy. And I don't know if you realized it, but ah. <laughs> here, these are actually spaghetti. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! 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 Merry Christmas! Eve! Merry, Merry Christmas Eve to you as well! Part of the salad mm -hmm. and then you eat it with the gamberon. With the shrimp you mean? Um, no, because this type of shrimps are called el gambero. Ah, wow! Did you make this? Yes, I did. I made it from scratch and I also made the mayo from scratch. Whoa. And I'm so proud. Cheers! What? Cheers! Mmm! These are spaghetti, I think it's quite <laughs> fun. Look at it. It looks like a necklace. It's pretty tall, you know, I would say. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. Mm. And here is our pasta. Now we have passed to the bigger shrimps. Mm -hmm. The langosteen, I guess. To be honest, I think there was some Christmas pressure in this house. So, usually I would say that we make them better. Mm. They're not super al dente. It's just not perfect, Let, let's put it this way. We have definitely made, made, better. Be nah. made better pasta, but I feel like the pressure of Christmas and everything, of doing so many things at the same time. Mm. But Number. it's still good and we have so many things in here. So basically this is a long stain, but it's really... Mm, it's basically between a crab and a lobster and it has a really nice juicy arms. <laughs> And what are you guys eating for Christmas? Let me know in the comments down below. I would literally love to know. I'm so curious. And it's a bit funny. Basically, I tried doing this, but it ended up a little bit bad. Oh, yeah, you almost Actually, very, them. very bad. But in the meantime, Ben opened this and ouch! And, 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 yeah, it was. And we were actually talking of how we got like 10 types of shrimps for tonight. But if you're wondering why is that, well, Basically everything else was finished. Like we tried getting oyster, oyster, <laughs> oysters. Two days in a row they were finished. After that we tried octopus. After that we tried getting octopus also finished. So we decided to go from a smaller shrimp to a bigger shrimp. And, um, and the biggest shrimp will be our what was it called? Until we actually get to the lobster that we'll be having soon. It's the most wonderful time of the year! Here is our lobster. Wow, and looks delish. Delish, and as as you can see, only like the smart, you know, the people that we've carefully, you know, like watching this video understand. There's like a heart here. I'm not sure. It's not really clear, is it? Well, not so much. Not, not 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 at all. Merry 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 Christmas. Are we ready to eat the lobster? Lobster. So this is a <clears throat> medium-sized Scottish. Lobster, boiled lobster, see I already fucked up. Medium sized British boiled lobster on a bed of spinach and arugula with sprinkled uh, pomegranate and sauce. What kind of sauce is that? Yeah, by the way, when he says sauce, he, yeah. mean, he means the, the, ch <laughs> the big chunks of onion, basically. <laughs> Like, this, the this, big chunks of onion were supposed to be a sauce. The, the video saw, you know, like in the video you should dip, you know, the lobster in the sauce. While here, you basically the sauce, the chunks of sauce are bigger than the lobster. Ta da! But it's okay, we're happy like that. The recipe needed like 150 grams of butter, and I yeah. was like, oh my god, there's no way I'm putting so much butter, and yeah. I already had the big chunks of onion, so. So yeah, so then, we ended up with having but, like this can I say something as a sauce the, the fun part is that like my girlfriend without even like watching the recipe until the end she thought oh well we're gonna blend everything in the end yeah but she has to assume that you know but then that didn't happen 
and then the recipe, and the video tutorial ended, and she was like, "Oops, and what do we do now?" And we ended up with the big chunks. But it's funny, I love, I love it. It's amazing. Here it is. It's actually looking delish. Let's try it out. I'm really happy. I, I, I didn't mess it up this time. Wow. Mm. Can I show the claw? I just did that. First stage of the shrimp. Basically, this is the dinner of the shrimp. We started from small, went up to big one. So this is the, the largest shrimp we've ever had for this dinner. And this is the, like the end. I really like it. I think it was a nice journey. And not to mention the mayo. I really like the mayo. Okay. And something that you should know about me is that I literally have dates with every meal. And Christmas is not really an exception. I just got bigger and better dates. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is the 25th. Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm so excited and I have set up in here. So, as I told you, we don't have Christmas tree this year. We have only this Christmas star and I have put here our beautiful panettone and finally I opened yesterday this teddy bear and I ate the head. Are you exchanging presents this year? Because we actually decided not to exchange presents this year, but I still got Ben something kind of symbolic and something that he really needs. I will show you later. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Wow. An electric toothbrush! That's really what I asked! Wow, thank you so much! Oh, a card! From last year, from Sainsbury! <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the Panettone time. And before I cut it, I just want to talk about, you know, the legend between the invention of the Panettone. So, back in the days, I don't know exactly when, but basically like there was this chef that was, you know, like this shit royal chef and he messed up the royal cake. So a small assistant, you know, he tried to like, you know, take all the things he had in the kitchen, you know, and made this like nice cake. Cause if you can see it's a bit random, you know, cause like he has, you know, like, almonds and you know, sugar and I mean, it was nothing like seen before. And his name was Tony. That's what the legend says. And in Italian, pan di ton, pan of Tony became panettone. We got one with uh, pears. Oh, pears. Yeah, Okay. pears and peaches. Really? Yeah. How is it? Mmm, it's nice. We actually got it from one Portuguese shop. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's really fragrant. And here is a tiny piece, just for you to see. But it has like so much dried fruit inside. Look at that. We decided to go for a walk, but you guys, it's so freaking empty. Like, literally. Let me show you around. And now we're planning to go to Hyde Park. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there won't be anyone, but let's see. I feel like we're the only crazy people around. So today is the 25th and today is our kind of Bulgarian day. Bulgarian. Yes, and we're trying to eat the things that I usually eat at back home for Christmas. And something, one of the traditions that I actually missed yesterday is that we have this kind of holy bread, which I made now. Wow. Basically the tradition for the 25th in Bulgaria is that for the 24th actually, but mm -hmm. we are doing it today on the 25th, is that we we're make this, late. Yes, we make this kind of wow. holy bread. What's holy about it? Uh, a cross? A cross, All right. and after that you kind of pray for the best uh, in the new year while you're making it. Yeah, there's a lot of praying <laughs> this time. So there is one coin inside the bread. Wow. And uh, first, the oldest person, the oldest family member should Which be... Which is me. 
which in this case is Ben, wow. should give a piece to everyone in the family, which is the two of, the us. Two of us. But usually, now that we're not with our families, we should also give a piece to our family, oh, just to, to our family members. And whoever gets the coin uh -huh. is going to have like luck. money and luck in the next year. Okay, so can I cut the pieces evenly or like, how does it work? Yeah, 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 you have to do it evenly. So and four pieces. Actually, we start from the church, then we have a piece for the house, then a piece for Ben, piece for me, and then also the family members that are not in the house. So let's say like for my parents or also for my grandparents. What happens if the church or the house gets the coin? I mean, it's fine. It means that they will be the one that will need more money. Also, I remember I, mean, I got the coin in 2016. I got the job in that year. So that's see? good. Shit, it it's works! Great. Okay, okay, let's let's let's, let's, let's switch. Ben, are you ready? It's my duty as the oldest member of the family to like divide this bread piece of loaf of bread in five parts. Let's start. So the first one goes to the church. The church. So church. Ah, it's really hot. First part for the church. Yes. Okay. This is a pretty good piece, you know. For the house. The third part is for this one is for you. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me. And then for Vasi and okay for Vasi and this is for the parents of Vasi. And now in one of the pieces There's there a coin. is a coin. But it's really cool because like we still don't know yet. <gasps> Guys, this was super unplanned, but here is the coin. I got it. I got the coin. Yay! Yeah, because to be honest, I almost never get it. So this was super unexpected. I'm also having some leftovers from yesterday because actually no. I didn't finish my food. Casually leftover lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leftover lobster. Lol. I'm making banits at the moment, which is kind of the Hello. most Bulgarian thing ever. Bulgarski! It's kind of this pie, and now I made the mix. It's basically eggs, cheese, uh, and yogurt with some oil and mix all together. And now I'm going to wrap it in here. I'll show you how it looks, but here it is in the oven from like 10 minutes or something. Hello, beauty! Wow! To be honest, if my mom is watching this, I think she would say that I could have done it better, but for one of the few times that I'm making it on my own, I think it turned out quite well. And if you want to see more travel related content, videos from London or random vlogs like this one when there is lockdown and we can't really travel, don't forget to subscribe and see you on Thursday with a new video. Love you all! Bye! Hey, why are you making fun of me? No, no, I'm just working here.